Hello and good morning, good afternoon, everybody. Good evening and good night. And welcome to Legal Tech 101. I'm getting better at the beginning bit, so please like or do any of those weird hand emoji things that's on LinkedIn these days, comment and follow Legal Tech 101. So today we are joined by a, a really a, a thought leader in our market, a guy called Roman Koch, who is the legal counsel at Bridgestone. Um, he is, as I like to coin it, a modern day explorer. So eat your heart out, Indiana Jones. Um, we talk about how to find legal tech these days. There are lots of initiatives out there, jurisdictional wise. Um, there are conferences, things like LinkedIn. So we get into detail around that. I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you on the other side. If by magic, here we are. Super simple, yeah? Sure, so uh, currently I work as a legal counsel in Bristol EMEA and in particular in the East Region Legal Department. But apart from my typically legal work, uh, I'm assigned to a legal tech project in our company. It's a global project, so uh, we have created um, a multinational uh, project team with our colleagues from the US, from Japan, um, from Singapore and from Brazil. Um, and uh, for a, about a year, we've been searching the market and trying to implement uh, a contract review software based on AI in our company. So talk to us a little bit about um, your, your exploration of legal tech and how you kind of went and found out about this world. Uh, it was the most uh, ineffective way uh, you can imagine. So I was doing a Google, a Google search, okay. but, but very soon I realized that I can spend uh, a, a lot of time uh, which, will be, uh, which will be wasted. Uh, so I thought that it, it must be some kind of smart search to attend uh, different uh, online events, webinars, meetups. Uh, where you can also meet uh, startup companies because uh, legal tech is, is not only something what may be provided by, by, by the key players on the market, but there's a lot of interesting, um, interesting solutions provided by, by startup companies. Mm -hmm. So for example, um, uh, next week I will be attending uh, such a meetup uh, which is organized here in Poland, but there will be some um, some interesting solutions also from uh, other countries uh, all over the Europe uh, presented. Yeah, you you almost want to meet the meet the person behind the uh, the technology itself. Yeah, so the um, the wizard behind the curtain. Pay no attention to that man behind the curtain. Yes, yeah, so I, I I think that it's 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 really uh, so so. From my per, from my experience. Uh, you know, having a lot of a lot of uh, meetings with, with uh, different vendors can take you really a lot of time. Yeah. So uh, it's it's uh, every such a meeting takes about one hour or more. Uh, so it's much easier when you uh, when you see a demo uh, of 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 of, uh, of a particular legal tech solution uh, during such a meetup. So obviously, I work for a technology provider. And so we we need we try and keep it as punchy as possible because the interesting world we are in today is that um, Zoom used to be the exception, yeah. So if you did a demo on Zoom, everyone's like, okay. Right? But now our world is Zoom, all Teams or insert whatever you like, yeah. So us as a technology provider also need to be sympathetic for that because if I make you sit through a demo for three hours. No one's winning that in that in that conversation, are they? So, so, so yes, I I, I think that uh, also legal tech vendors uh, must find uh, some some way to to connect with with, with the with the buyers uh, in a more time effective way. So uh, yes, that's 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 my personal experience. That such such short uh, short pitches may be a very effective way to. Uh, to find uh, or, or at least to attract um, a potential buyers. Keep it short and sweet, yeah? Yeah. Um, and get to the point. 
So, so we talked about, obviously there's some industry reports. Um, is there, where else did you go on your, your exploration for tech? So you said you started, it wasn't great to start with, they started with a Google search, which perhaps didn't get anywhere. And then you looked at some um, publications. What, what else did you look for um, for technology? To make connections using LinkedIn. And you can be really surprised how many useful contacts uh, you can make there who, who are lawyers and who have already adopted legal technology. And that was also uh, a way we, uh, which helped me to learn uh, about different legal tech uh, solutions. Uh, once you start posting on LinkedIn that you are uh, a corporate lawyer oh, we will come at you working on a legal tech project, you will receive lots of uh, 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 lots of invi in invitations from different legal tech vendors. Yeah. And we also have to probably give uh, Clinton Swan a shout out as well, yeah? So he um, obviously made a, a yes. page where we can all go and look and learn about technology. And I think that's that was almost a realization point for me as well about how much technology is out there. And I think that's a good thing and a bad thing, yeah? So if you there's a lot of variety, great. But if there's too much, then sometimes people won't choose anything because, because as you said, you could you could look at contract management systems all day. Um, so it's always finding that balance, which I think is is very important in this in this process. The um, and also it's great to hear that there are also local um, conferences going on. So I, so for me, I didn't even realise there was a um, a legal tech community in Poland. So that's, um, that's great to hear. So is, is, that, is that driven by technology, that initiative, or is it driven by lawyers like yourself? So, so this particular uh, initiative is driven by, uh, by the lawyers. Uh, so I would like to make a shout out to, to Tomasz Zalewski, who is the partner of, of the local office of Bert and Bert, who is in charge of this initiative. Um, so uh, the next meeting will be uh, on the 15th of October, uh, but it's uh, but the meetings are quite frequent. Uh, people uh, in our region are uh, really interested in legal tech. I, I, I mean that um, there is a growing interest. There is uh, still, um, uh, I think, a lot of place for for legal tech vendors um, also from, from other countries mm -hmm. uh, to go into this market. And that's, that's great. And then, so where, where do you see your future going as a technology, um, as you develop your understandings for technology? You said you're building your roadmap at the moment. So it's, it's contracts point one and then into the future or what's the plan? Roadmap will be defined by our, by our legal tech working group uh, in our company and also by our executives. Mm -hmm. uh, but I think that we will not uh, end with, with contract review software. Uh, I think that, for example, document automation, uh, no code platforms are the future of, of, of legal tech. So I hope that this will be something what will be uh, uh, taken into account in our company for the next year or two. Great. And my personal and my personal uh, hopes are that uh, technology will uh, really bring um, a cost efficiencies uh, to our company and time efficiencies to our work. Uh, personally, I still want to be a lawyer. Not I, I'm not going to to go into legal tech 100 uh, percent. Uh, but I think that uh, it's very important for for the new lawyers. Uh, uh, to not only be uh, experts in in, uh, in, uh, in in law, but to combine this this ex expertise knowledge with uh, also technical uh, skills. Yeah, it's um, what what I've learned by doing these podcasts is to be a lawyer, you have to be an expert in lots of different things. Yeah, so it'd be great at project management, data, technology, people rather and then do your day job so there's there's a lot of facets to your job but roman thank you so much for your time it's been great to talk to you thank you very, thank you very much robert as well it was it was a very nice chat thanks